Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use the isset function of PHP. So let's say you are developing a software where you would like to use PHP and inside that software you would like to know whether a particular variable has been set or not. So if dollar $war has been set or given any value and if you do is set dollar $war what are you expecting? It is going to return the value true. Let's run this in the browser and check it out. But before we do that, we put up uh, a simple way of uh, understanding it. So I'm using a ternary operator to give you a more meaningful message. So let's say is set colon is not set. Okay, so if it is set, the message will come out as dollar is uh, is set, uh, and if the variable is not set, it will show up the message is not set. So in our case, it should be is set that uh, is going to be outputted to the browser. So as you can see, that is what we had expected. All right. So what if we did not declare this variable and uh, we tried to find out whether this variable was present or not? In this case, is not set uh, is not set should be visible. Let's check out once again after saving. So you can see that the value is of that particular variable is not set that is the purpose of is, is set and uh, how you can use it in the practical applications is quite simple let's say you have created a variable equal to 10 or you have, might have not created it and based on the value over here you want to do certain extra job let's say if it is set then echo or yeah echo is set and do certain operations else echo is not set basically the same uh, ternary operator uh, being reconfigured as if else statement formatting a little bit okay so let's check what happens now so the variable is set so basically using this uh, by using this is set uh, function you can determine whether you should proceed to next operation in here or you want to abort this or do something else or throw an exception whatever it is okay so that's the purpose of the is set and the next we are going to talk about is the empty and there's always a confusion between empty and is set that what is the difference between empty and is set okay so let us examine empty so we say echo the same thing empty dollar var question mark is set and the other part is is not set and since we are checking for empty we are going to reverse this condition and ask uh, the question whether it's not empty and check the values so just by putting an exclamation mark before empty we are reversing the condition that means if the variable is not empty make it uh, echo is set which is what we want let's check out the output so yet again we have uh, successfully 
outputted the things that we were expecting. And if we do not set this variable, let's check out the value once again. So it's not set. So that is what we were expecting. But then what exactly is the difference between is set and empty? So empty will return something if it is false. Let's say dollar $var equal to false. Okay. So we are expecting that the var is not empty. So it should say is set. But it will output is not set. Let's check it out. Exactly. So did you observe the difference? So empty in addition to checking whether it was set, it also checks whether it was equal to false. So in PHP strict non-strict terms even 0 is equal to false. This will also provide the same output. So if you say uh, how, how does empty looks like uh, in comparison to is set. So empty if you see is whether it has been set. It's an output of whether the variable is not set combined with whether the variable is equal to equal to false. Mind it that this is not a triple equal to. The triple equal to is for strict checking. This is just for normal checking which is like zero can be equal to false and false can be equal to false. So it's very easy to remember the difference between empty and is set. I hope this was able to clear in your mind some doubt regarding the empty and is set. Do let me know if there are any questions and please subscribe or like or share my videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.